Good morning, dear friends. This is a new day. The Lord has given you this day today that you may experience God's presence, God's mercies, God's victory, and live a victorious life. So I would like to meditate this time from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 31. This passage, the message is about the message of the cross. And the message of the cross is a foolishness to those who are perishing. That is a very important thing for you to know why it is. What then is this message? It says here that the message of the cross sounds very foolish. Examine the four gospel preaching, therefore, for us, ourselves, to examine what the message of the gospel is. In the book of Acts, there are four gospel preaching, which you will find in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 14 to 39, and then chapter 3, verses 12 to 26, and then chapter 4, verse 8 to 12, and then chapter 10, verses 36 to 43. The, in these verses, in these passages, you will find the, 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 the gospel message preached by the apostles. Now, this gospel message, if you examine, contains always these five truths. Number one, that there is a claim that the promised time of God has come for the Savior to, to come into the world. Number two, you will notice a summary of life, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ in all the gospel preaching. And number three, all these are the fulfillment of a prophecy. All these things means the birth of Jesus, the life of Jesus, the and, and the ministry of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus, his death and the resurrection of Jesus. It's all the result of the fulfillment of the prophecy. And, uh, and number four, uh, the, the gospel message includes that Jesus will come again. Every gospel preaching includes the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And number five, uh, there is always an urgent invitation given to men and women to repent and receive the gift of the promised Holy Spirit that you may continue to live a victorious life. So these are the contents of the gospel. No gospel preaching can be the gospel preaching if these five points are not included in the preaching. And that is the truth. And you must know that. So if you are a preacher, always remember, these five things must come in your preaching. And if you are a believer, make sure that you are a part of a church that preaches the whole uh, gospel, which includes these five. This is your responsibility. God bless you today. Amen.